Have you ever played a Nintendo game that shouldn't be that hard, but for some reason it's just super difficult for you? And now whether it's actually technically a hard game or not, for some reason, for you in particular, you suck at the game and you can't beat it. Today, let's talk about four Nintendo games that are simply too hard. At least for me. In 1992, we got the third game in the Contra series on the NES called Contra Force, which is actually technically a Japanese version of a game called Arkhound. But regardless, Contra Force changed the Contra game a little bit by letting you, straight off the bat, choose between four different characters. But besides that, yeah, it's a Contra game, side-scrolling action with a few top-down levels. I've talked to people in the past before about Contra Force and their thoughts on the game, and according to a lot of people, it's not very hard. But for me, I'm terrible at the game. The main reason for this is the overload of lag. The game slows down for everything. And with that, I am just so thrown off by it. I could never seem to feel the rhythm or the rhyme I was used to in other Contra games. Other than that, I feel like Contra Force is actually a really good game. I myself personally can't enjoy it to its fullest though because I simply am terrible at it. A game we got on way too many consoles. Batman Forever. Oh my gosh, why? Ah uh, yes, the game that looks like it should be called Mortal Kombat Man was given to us in August of 1995 on the Super Nintendo amongst others. Back then, seeing a game like Batman Forever look decent from a visual perspective, but playing the game, it's actually terrible, and on top of that, it's difficult as all crap. As many of you know, navigating your way through the levels in Batman Forever is near impossible. The game gives little to no help as to where you are supposed to go in any given level. As a kid, I remember only getting through two levels of this game and playing it again as an adult I got through only three levels and the game doesn't make you want to keep trying. The game doesn't entice you in any way to want to keep playing. I mean, the colors are dark and dry, the music is okay, but doesn't really do much for me, and the sound effects just seem to be out of place. I don't recommend this game at all in any way, shape, or form, and that's not even talking about the difficulty, but thank God we got Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo, because that is a good game. Oh yes, the almighty, the legendary game on the Nintendo Entertainment System known as Cheetah Men 2. So Cheetah Men 2 was featured with Action 52 as the main draw for the game. And that was odd because only 6 of the 10 levels that were supposed to be on the game came out. But besides that, and I know this is going to sound really weird, I have put hours and hours and hours and hours into Cheetah Men 2. I know the game is riddled with glitches. I know the game has tons of errors in its programming. I know the game technically is terrible, but for some reason it has this weird draw to me, this weird sense of like, okay, I know this game is so odd and weird and it's almost impossible to play, but it just makes me want to keep playing it, and I do play it a lot. And with that, I wanted to see how far I could get in the game, and man, I could not get past the second level for anything. And yes, like I said, the game is filled with glitches and frame skips. I am literally talking about every other second. The hit detection in the game is almost off with every single enemy that comes onto the screen. Cheetah Men 2 is difficult beyond measure with almost no way to memorize your way through the game because everything seems to change every time you play it. But with that, I'll probably try the game again. Difficulty where it is not supposed to be difficult. Literally a game aimed for little small children. Beach Buggy Racing on the Nintendo Switch. I am horrid at this game. 
Beach Buggy Racing is a port from mobile and my kids love this game. Truth be told, I actually really enjoy the game as well. The colors are bright, the sound effects are silly, the characters are unique, and there are a good amount of levels. I have no actual explanation of why I'm really bad at this game. I'm gonna chalk it up to turning and say I'm terrible at turning in this game because anytime I go near any corners or turns, I fall back to the bottom of the race. I'm always in fifth or sixth at the end of every race while my little kids are up in first and second. I don't get it, but oh well, thank God we have Mario Kart so I can play that game, even though I'm kind of terrible at that game. Let me just say, if it's your first time here, which there are a lot of new people here, thank you so much for coming over here. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. This is Superhero Game Squad. We are here uploading videos four to five times a week, and we also do live stream two days a week as well. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like the video if you like what you see, and you're back over here. Let me know in the comments below. We love you guys, we thank you. Have a great, wonderful, fantastic, marvelous day. See you guys.